All right, so we're back on the uh, Nissan um, upper control arm um, mount, which I have uh, removed from the car and uh, or the truck, and I'm going to remove this stud right here, which some people ask, well, how are you going to do that? Because uh, it, it ain't going to budge. So I'm going to show you a technique that I use called the heat wrench. You need to get one of these if you don't have one, just for this process right here. Pretty simple. It'll take the stubbornness bolt, or whatever you're trying to take off, and make it really easy. You gotta adjust the flame, and a little bit of a, a little bit of a bud on there, and then we just uh, heat the surrounding area. Let me get it a little bit more. Alright, so we're gonna heat this up till it's uh, very red. I'll try and hurry up for the video, but you're gonna get the idea. This bolt, which I couldn't drill out the other way, couldn't budget with a uh, vice grip from this angle without massive heat. As you see, it's getting nice and a uh, little bit red. You want it glowing red. It needs to be glowing. And uh, it's almost ready. Almost ready. And then what I'm going to do, once I have this broken bolt out, I'm just going to re-tap it and weld it back in. But this is how you remove a broken stud. Being that it's in a big, thick piece of cast iron, it'll be no big deal. The heat wrench never fails. Hardly ever. That's red enough. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put this torch down. And it should come right out with these old vice grips right here. There you go. Look how easy that is. So easy. Like it's butter. There you go. And uh, I will do the same on the other end. As you can see, it's pretty much out. Now, it will not be a big deal. Alright, just so you see it. You don't want to touch this, by the way. There it is. And as you can see, the threads are fine. All right, we'll come back with um, stage three.